Okay, so in this video we are going to demonstrate the effects of fixed, show point, and set precision. We're going to start with the program that we used in the operators video, and I've just added this comment here that says uh, that these are the three things that we're demonstrating. So the first, these are commands that are used with floating point numbers. So the first thing I'm going to do is change all my variables to floating point numbers, which means numbers with a decimal place. Build errors. Okay, let's see what those are. I'm just looking at the build errors and it says that I can't use modulus with floating point numbers, which is true. So I'm just going to comment out this line and I'm going to comment out the display line because modulus is only used with integer numbers. Okay. Okay, so we can see we've got 5 and 3 are our two numbers. Sum is 8, difference 2, product 15. Note that uh, even though these are floating point numbers that could have a decimal place, they don't, and so no decimal place is, is shown. Um, now we're going to see what the effect of the show point command is. So if I go down to just before I display the results for the addition, I'm going to add cout show point. Okay, and we'll see what happens. Notice that now every number that got printed out to the screen below where I added the the show point line here. So for all of these things below this line we now have uh, zeros after the decimal point even though um, you know there, we didn't we hadn't given any decimal point values uh, but we said show point which means show the decimal point and by default it is putting um, six a total of six digits which in this case is five digits after the decimal place in this case is only four digits after the decimal place. Okay, so uh, you may want to have the decimal point show for only one number, not all the numbers after. So I could add a line, if I only want the decimal point to show for the add result, I could add a line afterwards that says no show point. And now when I run that, the 8 still has decimal points, or values after the decimal point, and the other ones uh, don't. Unless it's a number like the, the result of the division, where the number actually does have a decimal point portion because uh, 5 divided by 3 is not an even number. But where the numbers work out to even numbers, uh, there's no decimal point shown because we said no show point and so it turned that feature off after that point. Okay so let's add in uh, set precision and see what happens then. So looking at this first result I'm gonna add set precision and then give a value in brackets. So I'm gonna say set precision uh, 7 and I need a semicolon. Ah, and the the reason why it says it doesn't know what set precision is is because I need to come back up here and include 
the IO Manip library. Okay. And now it's fine with that set precision. So let's run this. Right, so now you can see I said set precision was seven and I end up with seven digits here. So I've got the eight and then six zeros after the decimal point. Okay. Um, if I wanted to specify the number of digits after the decimal point to be consistent, I need to add the word fixed. And you, that, you might do that in, in a scenario like if you're dealing with um, money, where you always have two decimal points with money uh, no matter what. So I say set precision fixed, or C out fixed. Set precision is still seven. Now it should give me seven digits after the decimal place. So you can see for every answer below where I said fixed, I now have seven digits after the decimal place. So when you're using fixed, set precision says how many uh, decimal places after the decimal place. If you aren't using fixed, set precision says how many significant digits um, or how many digits in total, which means that that the number of actual digits after the decimal place could vary. So let's look at that again. We will comment out the fixed and I'm going to comment out this no-show point so that every number after will have a set precision of 7 and we'll see the difference. Okay, so there you see it. When set precision is used on its own without fixed, it's just number of digits. So that is seven digits with the eight, uh, but six of them are after the decimal place. For the 15, because two of the digits are on this side, there's only five digits after the decimal place. Okay, so that's when you're using set precision alone, it's total number of digits, if you're using set precision with fixed, it means number of digits after the decimal place. So I'll let you see that here once the window pops up. And there we have it when I have fixed and set precision, I get seven digits after the decimal place no matter what.